Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. Today, I am excited. We're gonna go over the archive collection from Commodity. I have a video on my other channel, my beauty channel, where I used to do my scent Sundays, but then started this fragrance channel, going over everything in the Commodity uh, like scent space line. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave it down below. It's a little bit older, but I feel like it gives some really great information on those scents if that's what you're interested in. But I'm excited to go over the archive collection. These are a little bit older perfumes from them before they did the scent space and I thought I would just give you guys my thoughts on them let you know I am an affiliate with commodity so they sent this out to me I do have a code but this video isn't sponsored or anything so use that at your leisure it's affiliated but um, no pressure ever I hope that this is just helpful if you were interested because I feel like the scent space gets a lot of attention since it's like the newer thing but I was like I want to know what the old stuff so I want to know what the archive stuff is so this is what it looks like it's the same type of vials that the other if you order any of the other other uh, sets from them are gonna come in. Um, and then it has a little pamphlet here to give you some more info about the fragrances. I really like the scent space one. If you get that, um, I really like that one because it has little test strips in there. It's like a whole party. This one, unfortunately, didn't have the test strips. I already have some, but that's just like a nice little touch. It makes that discovery set a little bit more giftable or even again, like a community experience if you want it to be that. So let's just get into it. The first one we're gonna be smelling is gin. Oh yeah, that's good. To me, this leans a little on the masculine side, not a ton. Really fresh, aromatic, citrus on the top. It smells like a nice guy. To me, it's masculine. It also reminds me of going soaring over California. They don't have that anymore. It's like soaring over the world, I think. But they used to have this thing where you kind of go into a, an orange meadow or like orchard. And I feel like this is similar. This has a little bit more of a cologne touch, but there's something about it just kind of reminded me of it. It's really nice, really fresh. Totally get the gin vibes, like botanicals and a little bit fresh. I feel like as it's drying down, the citrus, like those bright citruses in the top are kind of fading away and it's getting a little bit more, I don't want to say woody. It's not quite like super woody, but a little bit just deeper, a little bit richer. I'm going to read you the little blurb, but it says, inspired by a lavish night out with endless possibilities ahead, this fresh and woody blend, maybe it is woody, of juniper berry, lime, and ginger leaf is distilled with utter finesse. Very, very good. I really like that one. I would love Sam to wear that. It smells great. Sam is my husband, if you don't know. And it just sounds like, who who the hell is Sam? <laughs> that's my husband. <laughs> All right, next is bergamot. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's a uh, very light citrus. It says there's some clementine in here as well as the bergamot. It kind of reminds me of a less sweet version of imaginary author St. Julep. Like, it's not the same, but they definitely have a very similar vibe, like very airy and light. But then this one also, it did start having like a little bit of a touch. Like I could see how someone would be like, oh, a little bit of like, um, like a plastic or almost like a grease, like a grease smell also in there, like coming through. Really fresh, really nice, very unisex. I feel like anyone could really like that one. I almost get something, I don't know if it has actual neroli in it, but I kind of get something like that as well. That's another one I really like. I think it'd be good for really hot weather. Next we have rain. Oh wow, this is very showery. I don't really love this one. I get the rain note. It's just a little sweet. Like, you know, sometimes there's this rain fragrance from Marc Jacobs. It's a little bit older. I got it at TJ Maxx or something like that. And I don't know, it just has that kind of showery, watery smell, but then that sweetness. And I feel like that kind of cheapens it a little bit. Some of the notes that it mentions are lotus blossom, lemon, verbena, and jasmine. There is something kind of fresh cutting through the sweetness as I keep smelling it, but just a Initially, it's just a little too uh, showery for me personally. Definitely not one that I would wear, even though I kind of like it and I could see other people really enjoying it. It's like fresh while still being sweet, but not like overly fruity, but not like a food at all. Next is Mimosa and this has some citruses. It also is, has some champagne in it. It's supposed to be kind of fizzy and I do get that, but I don't know why. I almost pick up something kind of licorice, even though it's talking about blood orange, it's talking about brunch and sparkling fizzy champagne. It almost has a little bit of a licorice note. Definitely not one of my favorites again. I really loved, I really love gin. That's one of my favorites for sure. Next we have Magnolia. I'm assuming this is gonna be pretty floral heavy. But again, like it has a sweetness. I've had some florals that just don't, like they're just kind of dry, you know? And this one's nice. 
it says it's crisp and green as well, but this has something pretty similar to smelling like a real flower, I feel like. This has magnolia and water lily in it. It also has some musks in the base. I feel like if you love florals, those really feminine florals, you would like this, or it's one to definitely check out. Not my favorite. I feel like the musk is saving it, but it's still coming off a little powdery for me, not one that I would want, but I'm also not really a floral girl. You guys know, I love my sweet stuff. I do like my woody stuff, and we're gonna get into some more heavy fragrances soon. I feel like all the ones in the white bottles have a little bit more of like an uplifting or like lighter scent to them. And the last one here for the white bottles is Nectar. Nectar is the Neroli orange blossom one for sure. It has, yeah, bitter Neroli. I'm like, I can smell it, I know. This one is the one I feel like uh, with Magnolia, it has a little more sweetness to it. This definitely has that bitter kind of, uh, yeah, just Neroli scent. I used to hate this scent and I am coming around, okay? I am coming around to it. I do think it's really nice in really high heat. To me, I'm really just picking up on mostly, I'm telling you the Neroli. Like this is just like a nice, clean, crisp Neroli scent. It's turning even more green. I feel like more almost like vegetal or like leafy as I'm smelling it, but I don't know. I feel like Neroli is one of those scents I, I started off hating and I I'm just gonna grow to love more and more. I don't know if I'd pick that one up, but it reminds me that I really like Sundays from Byredo. That is also very neroli, but it has like a cotton candy note that really sweetens it. That is summer to me. Like, I like that. Nice and crispy, but still sweet. I'm so sorry if you can hear that noise. All right, we have five more in the pack. I think these are all gonna be a little bit deeper, like I said. So first we have Bois. Ooh, this is good. Oh uh, yeah, this is my style for that kind of like unisex. This almost smells like a skin scent though. Like if you were wearing this, you wouldn't quite know what's on. This is Australian sandalwood and spicy pink pepper. It also has some cedar. This is my type of shit right here. I love this. I think something I really enjoy about it too is although it's very woody, it's not that dry wood that's in your face and it's not like too in the forefront. It's definitely gonna stay close to you. Kind of again, that skin scent. Someone's gonna hug you, very signature scent, really meshes with your body chemistry. I feel like a lot of commodity stuff does that when I think of paper or even gold is like that too to me where it just kind of like gets in with your skin and, and really like marinates. That's how this is to me. Bois is definitely in my top. Really, really love that. Mm -mm, delicious. The pink pepper just adds that nice little spice, but I just, I love sandalwood. I love cedar. I love a woody, <laughs> a woody fragrance. Uh, next is the scent wool. I find these just such interesting names even though they're like the older ones. I'm telling you, I've been wanting to smell these ones for a long time. This is nice as well. Very warm, kind of cozy. I feel like this would be definitely for cold weather. This is, it has notes of amber, vetiver, and also vanilla. I feel like the vanilla in here though isn't too, it's not like, you know, the vanillas that I like. I love like a very thick, <laughs> creamy vanilla. This one's nice. It's just like a touch in there to kind of soften, I feel like, and sweeten up the vetiver and the amber. Really nice. There's still a little bit of spice going on something a little bit earthy as well. I think that vetiver is playing just so nicely. Really love this. I feel like this to me is like the wheelhouse I really enjoy from Commodity. These unisex kind of woody, strong yet sensual kind of scents. I feel like that's what this is giving for sure. Really, really good. Wool is great. It's kind of trying to go off of that cashmere sweater vibe and I feel like they really, they did that for sure. Next is a vetiver. Ooh, this one is like kind of smoky. It's just strong. I feel like there was patchouli almost. Yeah, patchouli, okay. Oh, like it smells like patchouli to me, not just vetiver. This is nice. It's still kind of dry and dusty though. It's a little medicinal coming through. I feel like a little smoky as well, but this is, it has vintage jasmine, uh, Haitian vetiver, and also patchouli. If you like those earthy, drier scents, you don't really want sweetness. You want something a little bit woody though. Um, I think this would be one to try. Definitely not my style, but I can see how other people like it. And this is one for me that I would pair with like a vanilla to like soften it up and create my own scent. That's what I would really like from this. Not bad, definitely not my favorite though. All right, next, this one is kind of like blurred out, but I believe it's whiskey. This is supposed to be a warm, spicy scent inspired by American bourbon casks and rare Irish whiskeys. I am excited. Oh, that's nice too. I like this one a lot as well. Definitely very unisex. I feel like all of commodity stuff, you know, it's unisex, but I would say it tends to lean more masculine, like except for milk. I feel like milk's the only one because it's really sweet. Other 
otherwise from like the personal scent one, I feel like everything is like pretty true unisex or like leans masculine. And I feel like this also kind of leans masculine. I pick up on a spiciness, definitely some wood. There's almost something, it says vanilla. I don't personally pick up a ton of vanilla. There's mahogany and oak, lots of wood, the wood barrels going on. But I almost get, I don't want to say something um, stale, but kind of. Like there's definitely something like that going on in here. Not in a bad way, it just has like this air about it. I like it, but I would not wear that one. That one smells just a little too masculine for me to wear, but I would like it on someone else. Okay, last one, and then I'll tell you my top faves. This is leather. Oh yeah, definitely leather. This leather is like very animalic, kind of spicy little stinky to be honest to me um this is not like a car leather no um yeah this one's like a little smoky almost hmm, hmm, hmm. a little barnyard to me personally anyway this has a balsamic labdanum animalic black leather and spicy akagala wood very strong very whew. I think in small doses this would be nice just straight to the dome like this <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot you guys okay so let's talk about my favorites I for sure love gin I know it was the first one but man it's good for a fresh one I really quite like this as it's dried down even more it's gotten a little green maybe a little spicy but I like that a really good one I think it's a little masculine for me to wear but I really love the smell of it and really want to smell it on someone I want it on my husband probably my personal favorite is bois I just think this is so good like again that nice woody skin scent this is a great layering one it's a great one to put on when you just you don't know what to wear you just want to feel cozy there's a coziness about this it really feels like your skin, you know? I love that. This is my top favorite, especially for me to wear. Love it. And then I also really do like wool. It reminds me of like a jazz club a little, like something about it, maybe not as boozy, but it has like a spiciness and that same kind of like sweetness going on that reminds me of something in the vein of jazz club. So I really like wool as well. Ooh, leather. I just got leather again. That one is strong. Definitely not for the faint of heart. The other ones I enjoyed as well just not ones maybe personally for me to wear but I would love to know what's your favorite one from the archive collection I feel like there's still a few that maybe are discontinued I still want to like try to find and get my hands on see what those smell like I've almost smelled everything from the house at this point and I really do like them overall I I need to make like a top favorites of commodity or something like that um, let me know if you want to see that video I feel like I could update that since the other video on the scent space is on the other channel and is like a year old at this point but yeah let me know your favorite commodity scent down below. It's one of my favorite houses, especially for more of those unisex fragrances. And I really just love their takes on all these different commodities. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.